this year we're doing something that's uh, sadly new to us. We're presenting it to Ken Deedy posthumously. And I'm sure everybody in the room knew Ken, loved Ken, and uh, shares our sense of loss that he's no longer here with us. And I'd like to ask Rick Gregware, who's long-term board member of Save the River, to come up and make the presentation for Ken. Rick? Who's <laughs> getting the mics worked out here? served on Save the Rivers Board of Directors from early 1980s into the 1990s. A pivotal time in our history as we were developing dynamic programs with river residents and establishing a stable finan financial foundation. With the help of Mr. Deedy, Bill Danforth and others, a permanent home for in Clayton was secured for Save the River. Ken was an enthusiastic member of Save the River to say the least. Someone who saw the big picture and was full of ideas for synergistic collaboration. <clears throat> John Peach says, I was very fortunate to come to know Ken over the last 20 years. He was one of the most intense individuals I've ever met when speaking about protecting the Thousand Islands and the St. Lawrence River. Ken <clears throat> was always generous with his time and money, and he was usually in the lead on any project that benefited the river. So it was not a surprise to us when we learned <clears throat> that one of Ken's final acts of generosity before his passing on August 8th to benefit the work of Save the River, Thousand Island Land Trust, and the Mina Anthony Common Nature Center. <clears throat> and ensure that these organizations continue to work together for the common good of the river. The fund will annually hire a high school or college student to serve as a paid intern <clears throat> working on projects to be determined and coordinated by the executive directors of the three environmental organizations. As of December 31st, 2018, approximately $127,000 has been raised or pledged for the Ken Deedy Environmental Internship Fund. Generous commitments and a challenge matching grant have come from the New Northern New York Community Fund, as well as more than 80 other donors. The three beneficiaries of the fund are planning a joint event in September at Wellesley Island State Park to honor Ken and complete the raising of funds for this initiative. The board and staff of Save the River are humbled and inspired by the example set by Ken in his work to protect the St. Lawrence and his setting up of the such a thoughtful and meaningful legacy. In recognition of everything Ken Deedy did for the river, we are awarding him our 2019 Friend of the River Award posthumously. Unfortunately, uh, none of the Deedy family could make it here today. So we're going to display it in the Save the River office until we can present it to them in the spring. 
Thank you. Thank you. Th this is the award, and it will be over at Save the River. Uh, I should get my mic here. Just one story about Ken, because we all have great Ken stories. Uh, I think. But eight days before Ken died, about 9.30 at night, and Ken knew I'd go to bed early and get up early, but he called, and he could only talk for about eight or nine minutes at that point because he was running out of breath, and he had some things that he wanted to tell me that he thought could be done a little bit better at Save the River. <laughs> and those of us that knew and loved this man, and I realized it was almost like he was speaking from the grave or from heaven. And I sat there and I listened, and after a few minutes, his voice started to get weaker, and he said, well, he said, I'll be in touch soon. Uh, and it just sends chills down my spine to think of that. He, uh, he blessed all of us with his presence. Rick, thank you for doing that. <clears throat> 